So remember, in the discussion of sightcast versus precast, in the discussion of pre-stressing versus post-tensioning, all of that, there are different moments of that discussion happening at different points along the way of the uh, conversation or along the way of the project. Uh, for our purposes, the point that we're in right now in this exam, uh, what we're talking about are the planning implications. So if we start talking about certain ideas about planning, uh, that would lead us towards sightcast. Uh, that would lead us towards pre-stressing. Uh, we talk about other issues about uh, planning that might lead us towards precast and lead us towards pre-stressing. Uh, so the question is at this stage, what are the planning implications? At the next exam, when we're more in the kind of CD set phase of the project, there we'll be talking about the specific details about you know, how the topping will work and what kind of reinforcing we would have within those systems. We, we'd be getting more into the detailing of it and the specifics of the fire ratings and things along those lines. At this point, it's really a question of how does it impact planning or how does uh, planning impact it. Uh, so one example might be uh, let's say the question is sort of talking about an issue that says uh, there's very little time uh, in order to build this, this structure. We really have to make sure that uh, you know, from the moment we have uh, the ability to start the construction uh, to the time that the construction is finished, uh, that the, we have to be able to get out exactly on time because uh, the school starts or the football games start or whatever it is that's that's keeping our timeline very very short or could be just financial it could be the fact that the cost of the land is very very high and so uh, the uh, bridge loans that it takes to just hold the land before a project is being able to be finished uh, is so expensive that we really want to speed up the construction process so something like that any of those kinds of reasons that's going to push us towards the precast because the site cast is going to take a lot of time. You have to build all that formwork. You then have to set the concrete. The concrete takes at least a week to get uh, the initial set uh, in place and then won't actually be fully set for 28 days. Uh, so there's a bunch of built-in time just in kind of making each uh, individual element work. Whereas with the precast, all of that time can be done before the actual construction starts. Like we could be making these things well ahead of time, even delivering them uh, to the location so that as soon as construction starts, you're able to just start craning those things into place. So from a site construction standpoint, the timeline with the precast is gonna be very, very quick compared to the site cast, especially for long span. Uh, with other choices, it can become, uh, a, there's a lot more uh, variables with other choices. But with long span, the precast will absolutely be faster than uh, the uh, site cast. So you could imagine a question that sort of leads you into that scenario. But then in the same way, you could imagine a question that leads you towards uh, the idea that, well, time isn't really the issue. Uh, maybe a sort of specialness is the issue or the fact that uh, the elements want to change at each, uh, at each point. Like maybe it's an arch that uh, starts as a very deep arch but then becomes flatter and flatter and flatter as it goes along or something so that you have multiple different versions. Well, if I have precast, the advantage of precast is always going to be in when I have the same thing going over and over again. I might have a couple of different versions, but I really wouldn't want to uh, spend the money to make uh, all the formwork if each piece of formwork has to be uh, novel and different. Uh, for a precast, that's just not where the money is. It would be very difficult to do that. But with Sitecast, I'm creating the formwork in place for each one, each time anyway. So it doesn't really matter if I'm changing it a little bit uh, on each, uh, each different uh, beam, for example. Uh, so if the situation is calling for customization, well then Sitecast is gonna be the thing that uh, drives the day. 
Uh, there's a whole series of these different issues that you can imagine uh, are partly about the plan of the building, partly about the project delivery system, partly about uh, sort of the general nature of the, the way a project's going to move forward. Uh, does it need to move forward quickly? Does it uh, need to move forward uh, in a way that uh, is very expressive? Does it need to be uh, something that can tie into the systems in a particular way? Uh, you might, with Sitecast, uh, be able to uh, manipulate uh, the Sitecast setup so that you can integrate systems a little bit more easily. The precasts are going to be these repetitive elements that uh, won't necessarily uh, play nice with uh, your utilities. Uh, so the scenarios around these uh, questions are the reasons that you're going to lean one direction or another in terms of that Sitecast, precast. Uh, uh, post-sessioned versus uh, pre-stressed. Uh, it's going to be all about the kind of scenario around. Uh, remember, a typical long span situation with sight cast is probably post-tensioned in order to get that compression into the concrete, but it could be pre-stressed. It's just probably not. With precast, the typical is going to be pre-stressed because it just makes sense with the formwork to be able to do all that robust pulling uh, with the tendons uh, in the formwork. Uh, that just makes sense to do that uh, pre-stressed as opposed to post-tension, but it is sometimes done as post-tension. So it's not a super clean line, it's just that if there's no other information, that's the way that you would imagine it. So when we're talking about these things for this exam, we're not really getting into the detail about the exact way that these things are fitting together. We're really just thinking about it from a sort of planning standpoint. Which way are we leaning? Which way makes sense given the scenario that's been given?